Chris Rachu, The Simple Solution to the All Blacks World Cup Crisis. This is Steve Hansen's dream. It's 2019 World Cup squad announcement time, and the All Black coach has found a way to say Tora Kerbarlo. What's the bet Hansen has already thought about seeking a dispensation, so the France-based former chief can be included in the team to chase a World Cup three-peat in Japan. There's no hard evidence Hansen has set the wheels in motion, even in his own mind. But in those quiet moments, when all the scenarios start playing out in the mind... Dot 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 try telling us that it hasn't at least crossed his mind. For now, this theory is circumstantial. But halfback is a potential crisis point if injury was to strike Aaron Smith and or TJ Perina Ura. And why else would Hansen hang on to Kerr Barlow until the end of the year, when he knew from mid-March that under the New Zealand rugby dictate the player's move to La Rochelle makes him unavailable for Japan? It just doesn't make sense otherwise. If the overseas rule is indeed so set in stone, it is foolish. Millions of dollars, money drives much NZR thinking, could rest on who plays in the pivotal positions. Are they really going to base their business around? Mitchell Drummond? The All Black coaches should always have the chance to pick an overseas based player for the World Cup squad in special circumstances. Get out a placard. Sign a petition. Free TKB. Hansen might also consider another dispensation, to get to lose recruit Charlie Fuamuina's large frame into the World Cup frame. If the All Blacks get down to Ofatu and Gafasi, they are in trouble. But halfback is the biggest worry. The cupboard is so bare there is barely a candidate. With all due respect to Canterbury's Drummond, he played against and for the All Blacks on a wild guess during the Northern Tour. It's hard to find anyone who thinks Drummond is definitely good enough to be an All Black. Even if he was caught, prep time is fast running out. Hansen would be crazy to risk the crown on a substandard halfback when he could plead a fine case for someone as good as Kerr Barlow. Perhaps Drummond was little more than a fall guy in Europe, there to prove that New Zealand doesn't have a serious third halfback prospect. It makes you wonder if Hansen has been laying the foundations, forcing the issue, by refusing to give halfbacks he has very little faith in any proper opportunity to win a bit of favour. Then he will go to Enzar boss Steve too and say, we have no choice.